Nunzio Sisto and Daniel Bateman are here to tell us what's happening with the Youth Training Orchestra, and there is a brand new partnership with the City of Desert Hot Springs, and that's very exciting. So you guys are expanding your operations. Absolutely. Um, we have our main location at Palm Springs Cultural Center, and we just knew that there was a need in Desert Hot Springs, and knowing um, the kids have a half day on Wednesday, we were able to work with the Shrine Group to find funding, so we we're going to provide a youth orchestra at uh, Desert Hot Springs Park and Rec, uh, from one to three when the kids get out of high school. And this is with Gary Gardner on the city council and uh, Roberta Krinchik of the Des Desert Hot Springs Parks and Rec. Wow, that's fantastic. That's a great partnership. And uh, anytime you can expand arts education anywhere in the Valley, it's important. But uh, I think for Desert Hot Springs kids, they may not have an opportunity to do these sorts of things. No, and we were really worried that they didn't have the access to public or transportation otherwise to come to our Palm Springs location, which was a little simpler for some of the kids on this side of the Valley. So we knew that we had to bring something over there. Fantastic. And Daniel, you just kind of come aboard. Yeah. First of all, tell us a little bit about your background and then how you came to work with Nunzio. On, on so this. I also am a fellow Juilliard graduate. So we have that in common. And I was a former Broadway professional. I was in Wicked, several New York musicals, national tours, started as a little kid in Barney and Sesame Street. <laughs> so fantastic. I'm used to being around the arts and entertainment, especially with um, with youth, so I'm, I'm really, really excited to to be a part of this and partner with him and, and get this going. Well, having started in the entertainment business as a kid, that mm -hmm. must give you a little bit of special insight into working with these these kids. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, and just kind of just being aware of, of just how important it is for someone to to support these kids and for them to have a mentor and someone to look up to and someone that believes in them. It's just so important and something that's lacking in, in so many places. Uh, it is really important to have that role model, and especially when you're kind of doing something that uh, requires this kind of level of practice, and, and it really is, you have to invest yeah. yourself in, in the uh, orchestra. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And there is talent. There's talent here in the desert, and that, that's really what we're working on. Oh, we have a slew of very talented kids. Tell people a little bit more about what Youth Training Orchestra is, how it is designed to help these kids. So the key uh, component of Youth Training Orchestra is, is we use the Broadway Pit Orchestra, and this way we're, we're better set up to do things like collaborative performances, ballet, live theater, and um, other things that we do is provide our chamber music series, which shows kids what adults playing high-level music looks like in their own neighborhoods instead of having to travel to LA. So by using that pit orchestra model and having things like our chamber music series, we're able to create new music uh, social opportunities for kids to come play some more modern music, stuff that really connects with them. And you have a chamber music concert coming up, correct? Yep, tomorrow night we have uh, Jesus Palominos, who's a professor of guitar at College of the Desert, and we're very happy to work with College of the Desert to feature some of their teachers. And this is twice a month we have professional musicians and the proceeds from those concerts uh, pay for our rehearsal space at the Cultural Center. Well, kudos to the Shrine Group for stepping up and providing the grant. If you'd like more information, you can go to ytoa.org. It's on your screen, and we'll put a link on kesq.com as well. Uh, when do you get uh, operations started up in, in Desert Hot Springs? Uh, we actually have a meeting today at 3 o'clock to speak to the uh, high school teacher, and then we're going to start recruitment, and hopefully in two weeks we should have a program rolling. Fantastic. Well, Daniel, a pleasure to have you on the program. Absolutely. Nice to meet you. Yes. Lindsay, always nice to have you back Thank on the you, Patrick. Eye. And we look forward to more exciting developments from the Youth Training Orchestra. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Job. Thank you. Thank you.